Hey, this is Joel, and I'm going to be doing a deck review on an Element Helium. This deck I skated a year and a half ago. You can see the shape. It's quite nice. And like every other deck, it does chip, but not that much. It's held, the plies are held together quite good. It does get stress cracks. They're not real bad, but they're not... Well, they're there. But anyways, I would recommend this deck for someone who either skates a vert... Mini ramp, normal vert, stuff like that. Or if you just do flat ground flip tricks. Because it'll last you a really long time. It, I skated mine for five months in the basement. And going out to wedge wood every now and then. But the downside is once you start doing gaps and ledges with it, like stuff with impact, it's gonna... Because... On, I still remember the exact date, March 22nd of 2009. I was over at Liberty Skate Park before they tore it down, obviously. And I did a kickflip off of a four foot ledge off the side of the mini ramp or like four and a half foot ledge. Well, whatever. The point is, I landed, okay, my left foot over the bolts, my right foot on my toes, though, right there. I just missed the bolts by a little bit. Like, it was right there. And I land light, and at the time, I weighed, like, 104, 104-ish. And if you watch my skate videos, you can see the way I land. I land, like, a feather. I, like, just kind of float it. That one, I just, like, floated down, and it just, as you can see, it cracked a ply right there. And now it's really bendy. Oh, yeah, this deck is really flexible. That's something else I forgot to mention. But now the tail is even more flexible than it was. But anyways, if you're someone who does a lot of board slides, but especially if you're someone who like slams them down like lip slides and board slides, it'll definitely break on you because I flow into all mine. And you can see cracks. So yeah, the fiberglass beam that goes from... I think it's like... No, it's not up here. It's like... Like from here across to here, the fiberglass. I like the fill of the board. It does have a good fill because of that. And it's real easy to adjust to. But it's supposed to absorb the impact. But it's just, it's really not that strong. I think they need to upgrade it. Like, yeah. Like in my opinion, the helium sucked. Because it broke so easy. And they updated that one to the feather light helium so maybe they might update the fiber light i don't know but either way this this is a good deck i might actually get another one at some point but i want to try fiber lamb that's the one i really want to try because i'm a huge fan of toy machines so yeah go out there and get a element fiber light you should probably give them a try they're quite nice it's a good deck 